Hey folks, it's Jim Hansen, and the elephant in the room today is getting wrangled about what kind of legal protections our troops will have now that they're back in Iraq. I mean, I seem to recall that the reason we pulled everybody out was because we couldn't negotiate a status of forces agreement to guarantee their safety, right? With regards to Iraq, you and I agreed, I believe, that there should have been a status of forces agreement. That's Did you? True. Well, that's interesting. I think 2014 Obama better check with 2012 campaigner-in-chief Obama about what he actually thought about that issue. What was it, Mr. President? You were against the deal before you were for it? Or you were never for it because if you got a deal, it would have been harder to justify pulling all the troops out. So you torpedoed the negotiations by requiring a vote of the Iraqi parliament. Smooth move. But now that it's politically expedient and you need troops in Iraq, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter. Kinda sketchy. Apparently, our troops will have the powerful protection of a diplomatic note. Wow, that must really fill our guys with a tremendous sense of security. I mean, an agreement delicately negotiated at poolside by a couple of guys sipping mint tea and nibbling pettit fours printed on some perfumed State Department stationery. Now, I've deployed to some places where the local government wasn't too tickled about our presence or didn't even know we were there. And I gotta tell you, if I was heading to Iraq in the middle of that mess right now, I'd want something a little tougher than a diplomatic note and our current commander-in-chief covering my back. I mean, who did Marcellus Wallace send when things got ugly? I'm Winston Wolf. I saw problems. I'm pretty sure our guys would much prefer the Mr. Wolf solution. And if things even went south from there, you could always count on Jules and Vincent. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. This is Jim Hansen, and let's hope the elephant in the room doesn't get slapped in chains and have to pull out his diplomatic note get out of jail free card in Iraq. And the men who hold high places must be the ones who start to mold a new reality closer to the heart.